Welcome sa course natin. Uh, solve pa ulit tayo. So, A can do a piece of work alone in 30 days, B in 20 days, and C in 60 days. If they work together, how many days would it take uh, would it take them to finish the work? So, pwede natin sabihin na yung work done is equal to rate times time, or rate is equal to work done per unit time. So, therefore, yung rate ng A is equal to 1 work done over 30 days, rate ng B is 1 work done over 20 days, and rate ng C is 1 work done uh, in 60 days. Tapos, yung formula nga natin, uh, work done is equal to rate times time, so W is equal to R times T. So, summation ng work done, ibig sabihin yung work done na pinagsama sa namang A, B, and C. So, makakaproduce uh, sila ng isang buong uh, work na matatapos. So, equal to 1. Or a complete work, kaya 1 yun. Kapag naman half of the work done lang, so 0.5 yung summation natin. Or uh, at any percentage, no? Kaya lang dito dahil nga finish the work, so equal to 1. So, WA plus WB plus WC or work ng A plus work ng B plus work ng C is equal to 1. So, substitute lang natin. So, rate times time ng A plus rate times time ng B plus rate times time ng C is equal to 1. So, dahil magkakasama silang gumawa, so yung time na gugugulin ng A katulad lang sa B at katulad ng C. So therefore, time for A is equal to time for B at saka time for C or just T. So yun yung hahanapin natin, no? yung T. Dahil given tayo ng rate for A, B, and C. So substitute ulit natin. So kaya magiging 1 over 30 yung rate and then 1 over 20 and then 1 over 60 for C. So makukumpit na natin kung ano yung value ng uh, time for A, B, and C to finish the work. So 1 and then over ang uh, coefficients, so 1 over 30 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 60. So therefore, time is uh, 10 days. So next problem, a pump can pump up can pump out water from a tank in 11 hours. Another pump can pump out water from the same tank in 20 hours. How long will it take both pumps to pump out the water in the tank? So halos kagaya lang kanina. So solve ulit natin. So rate ng A, so 1 over 11 na lang. So 1 work done uh, in 11 hours. Yung work done is yung pag pump out ng water sa tank. So ubus yun. Kaya 1. And then dun sa B, dinote na lang natin yung another pump as a pump B. So rate ng pump B is 1 over 20. So, gano'n ulit, W is equal to R times T or R is equal to W over T. So, summation ng work. So, substitute lang natin. So, therefore, 1 over uh, one over 11 plus uh, 1 over 20. Therefore, time para mapump out yung water is 7.0968 hours. So, next problem. Josie can type 100 words in the same time that it takes Jane to type 75 words. If Jane's typing rate is 8 words per minute, less than that of Josie's, find Jane's typing rate. So based on given, ito yun, no? So rate ni Josie, 100 words at a given time. So 100 words per time, per minute. At yung rate ni Jane, 75 words, same time sila ni Josie. So... Si Jane nakatype lang siya na 75 words at a given time, si Josie 100 words. So per minute. So dinagay natin na yun yung magiging rate nila. So work done is 75 words at a given time per minute. So ang sinabi pa yung uh, rate ni Jane is 8 words per minute less lang kay Josie. So rate ni Josie minus 8 yun yung rate ni Jane. Hanapin natin yung typing rate ni Jane. So... Ayan, ayusin lang natin. So basically, sa, uh, yung una nating equations, inequate lang natin to time, which is yung equal na element dun sa dalawang formula. Sa rate ni Josie, tsaka sa rate ni Jane. So therefore, 100 over rate ni Josie is equal to 75 over rate ni Jane. So ang relationship natin dun sa rate ni Jane, tsaka rate ni Josie. So rate ni Josie is equal to 4 thirds ng rate ni Jane. So, substitute natin sa equation. So, rate ni Jane is equal to 
4 thirds na hindi yung minus 8. So therefore, so simplify lang natin yung 4 thirds minus yung 1 na rate ni Jane. Kaya naging 1 third na lang. And then out both sides ng uh, 8. So therefore, 8 is equal to 1 third uh, typing rate ni Jane. So therefore, typing rate ni Jane sa given. So 24 words per minute. Next problem. A swimming pool is filled uh, through its inlet pipe and then emptied through its outlet pipe in a total of 8 hours. If water enters through its inlet and simultaneously allowed to leave through its outlet, the pool is filled in 7.5 hours. How long will it take to fill the pool with the outlet closed? So, translate natin kung ano yung nasa given. Uh, yung nasa given, tapos kunin natin. No? So, rate. So, let yung uh, R sub in is equal to rate ng inlet pipe. R sub out is equal to yung rate ng outlet pipe. Tapos, dinunot na natin na yung T sub in, time for inlet pipe to fill the pool. Yun yung hahanapin natin. Hindi natin alam to. No, yung, uh, T out is equal to time for outlet pipe to empty the, the pool. Kung siya lang. No? Pero yung alam natin na uh, kapag open yung inlet pipe, pati yung outlet pipe, no? a swimming pool is filled through its inlet pipe and then emptied through its outlet pipe in a total of 8 hours. So if water enters through its inlet and simultaneously allowed to leave through its outlet, the pool is filled in 7.5 hours. How long will it take to fill the pool with the outlet closed? So hahanapin natin dito yung uh, T sub in. T sub in. Dahil wala yung element natin na open yung sa outlet pipe. At alam natin na kapag nag-fill ka ng... Uh, Anong swimming pool na given, yun yung T sub in, tapos i-empty mo to the outlet pipe, ang total nun is 8 hours. So ito yung sa actual, actual time for inlet pipe na magpa-function dun sa pangalawang uh, sentence, is 7.5 hours, yung T out is 7.5 hours then yung if water enters through its inlet and simultaneously allowed to leave through its outlet, the pool is filled in 7.5 hours. So, parehas silang bukas. So, hanapin nga natin kung ano yung T sub in. Yung how long will it take to fill the pool with the outlet closed. Kung baga wala nga yung element no, na open yung outlet pipe. So, work ng inlet pipe minus work ng outlet pipe is equal to 1. So, minus yung sa outlet pipe dahil hindi yun yung kailangan nating work. Yung kailangan nating work is sa inlet pipe. No? So, minus siya dahil nga out nung no, dinote natin, negative. Dahil yung kailangan niya natin na uh, ano work done is yung ma-fill yung pool. So, R in times T in, so minus R out. Uh, T out is equal to 1. So, yung R sub in, uh, so 1 over T sub in. So, 1 work done per unit time. So, yun yung uh, para dun sa rate ng inlet pipe. And then yung actual time is 7.5 hours minus yung rate out. So 1 over uh, yung malaking T sub out times dun sa time or actual time para dun sa outlet pipe. So equal to 1. So simplify lang natin. So 7.5 times T out minus 7.5 times T in is equal to T in times T out. So, yung sa left side, uh, kinuha ko lang yung uh, denominator nila na yung pinag-multiply lang natin. Tapos, uh, multiply natin dun sa denominator nila na makuha yung T and times T out. So, matitira na lang dun sa unang, uh, sa una nating term is yung 7.5 times T out. Tapos yung sa pangalawa, 7.5 times T in. Tapos, dahil nga multiply both sides sa denominator na T in times T out. So, therefore, yung 1 multiplied dun sa T in, T in times T out. So, ito yung isang equation natin. Yung isa pang equation, yung T out, yung relationship na T out is equal to 8 minus T in. So, ito. In the long equation, substitute natin yung T sub out. So, perform natin yung operation. Tapos makukuha natin quadratic equation. 
So, solve natin yung quadratic equation na to. So, quadratic formula, negative b, positive negative. Dahil dalawa yung roots, isang positive, tapos negative square root ng b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In which yung a is equal to dun sa coefficient ng my square na variable, so 1. Yung b dun sa uh, variable na raised to 1, so negative 23. Tapos yung c is yung sa constant, which is yung 7.5 times 8. So, therefore, 1 store natin sa a. Negative 23, store natin sa B. Tapos yung 7.5 times A, store natin sa C. So, lagi natin negative uh, B. Mm, tapos, uh, plus muna, square root ng uh, B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So, yung sagot natin, isang root is 3. Tapos, lagi natin negative naman. So, 20. So, value natin, roots for x or yung sa variable is 3 and 20. Kaya lang, yung total time natin nakalagay dito is 8 hours. So, therefore, ang pinaka, syempre, logical na sagot, yung less than 8 hours dapat. So, uh, t sub in is equal to 3 hours. So, kapag naka-open lang yung sa inlet pipe, so 3 hours, mapupuno niya na yung pool. Tapos, pag kinlose mo yon tapos binuksan mo naman yung sa outlet pipe, so, 5 hours naman yun. So, therefore, 3 plus 5 is equal to, ayun yung 8 hours na nasa given.